Now, Mark and Tom, if you're traveling tonight, the question you may be asking is, will I get home safe? And to answer that, we're going to click through some websites with that information. Now, Washington State Department of Transportation says all of its crews and trucks are out de-icing Interstate 90 on its 24 hour shifts. Now, crews are expected to work through Saturday to keep the roads bare and wet. In fact, in anticipation of the storms, WashDOT activated this message here yesterday on its I-90 signs, reminding drivers to prepare for heavy snow today. Now we also know Washington State University students are starting to return to Pullman this weekend and that's because spring semester starts on Monday. But the university sent out a release today asking returning students to stay put if it is unsafe to travel, especially over the passes. We've been keeping an eye on Snoqualmie Pass. It's a heavily traveled area for those students. Now on the WASHDOT website, you can follow that as well or download their app. It'll give you alerts that you can sign up for there as well. Now, finally, we'll check on the skies. Crews at Spokane International Airport tried staying ahead of the storm by de-icing the runway and planes earlier today. The airport's flight tracker actually showed a few delayed departure. We're looking right now, scrolling through those departure lists. We have noticed quite a few more delays added starting at the five o'clock hour. Additionally, some canceled flights starting at 630. So, of course, check the Spokane's International Airport website to see if your flight has been delayed or canceled, or you can contact your airline directly. Of course, it's always encouraged to allow yourself extra time to get to the airport and checked in. Reporting from the newsroom, Amanda Rowley, Crumb 2 News.